Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you area selection editing in Reaper. Now, at first, it doesn't seem obvious how to edit a specific area on a specific track. Let's say we take this first track and we just want to cut this item right here in the middle. We create a time selection by dragging right here, but that selects an entire area. It doesn't just select items or areas within those items. So then you have to select the item, go to edit, and choose this option over here cut items within time selection, which is not the default that we're used to using for cutting, which is down here. Using the keystroke on PC, Control X, or on Mac, it's Command X. We can't choose that. We want to choose this one instead and add shift to it. So on PC, it's shift control X, and on Mac, it's shift command X. And if we choose that, it's gonna cut just the item that's selected based on the time selection. So that might seem a bit too confusing with too many steps. Another way we could do it is to create the time selection, double click the track, we wanna edit, and use that same keystroke. And that also does it. What we could also do is click over here, hit S, and that's gonna split our item, go to the end of it, hit S, and split it again, and now we could delete that. And if you wanna do the same thing on all our tracks, we can just click over here, hit S, it splits all the tracks on our project at that area, do the same thing over here, and cut them that way. But again, that takes many keystrokes. A quicker way to do it is using the marquee tool. Let's say I want to go back and edit this section right over here. Now, if you have the ability on your mouse or your trackpad to right click drag, we could do it right here. Just hold it down and it changes our cursor to look like this. This is the marquee tool. So now we could drag it to select many items. See that square that's created? with surrounding items to select them. So if I let go, all those items are now selected. But we need to create a time selection at the same time. And we could do that with a modifier. On the PC, it's Alt. And on the Mac, it's Option. Hold on that modifier and then right click and drag. And it's gonna create a time selection at the same time as selecting the items in the marquee. So if it's just this track, it created a time selection, and selected that item on that track. So now you can hit the keystroke, shift control X on the PC, or shift command X on the Mac, and that cuts that section. And we can do the same thing with many items. Let's say we wanna do these three items right here for the section from here to here. Hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, right click drag for the marquee tool, and select all those items and just the section we want to cut, like that. Hit the keystroke, shift control X on the PC, or shift command X on the Mac, and it's cut. And it can be really handy for quickly cutting the beginning and end of our media items. Let's zoom in right here and do the same thing. Change it to the marquee tool. Let's say we want to cut up to here or trim it, hit that keystroke, and it cuts the beginning. Or we can cut the end right here, very quickly. Now if you have trouble performing a right click drag using a trackpad or a laptop, as opposed to a mouse, we could do it with left drag with our mouse modifiers. Let's go to our preferences, and if we go to mouse modifiers right over here, and under the context, arrange view, right drag, this is what we've been doing so far. By default, we can marquee select items, but by holding down the modifier, Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, we can marquee select items and time, which is what we've been doing so far. But if you prefer, we could do it with left drags. 
But to change the context to media item and left drag, and we could either rewrite one of the modifiers here or use one we're not using. I'm going to use one down here. For the Mac, it's control and just double click it and go down here to marquee select items and add in set time selection. So by doing that, I could hold down the modifier and get the same marquee tool just by left dragging. Let's drag from here to here. It selects both those items and we can cut within this time selection. Hit that keystroke, shift control X on the PC or shift command X on the Mac and it cuts just that. So it's very useful for cutting out sections on multiple tracks like this or quickly cutting the beginning or ending of our items. Now, if you notice, this is only going to work inside the item. If I go out here and hold on the modifier, it doesn't show up. So if you want it to work inside the item and outside the item, you're going to want to add the same modifier to a different context. The one over here on the track. Just add the same one over here. Marquee select items and set time selection. And now we can do it inside like this or even outside like this to cut the end, cut off the beginning or any items we select within the time selection, like all these or these. Then we could paste them anywhere we want. So that's pretty much it. That's area editing or quickly editing an area in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom?